I have, I have a close friend who argues that Sufi dhikr, like sitting in a circle saying takbir at the same time, kind of singing like the Shishani does, he's arguing that there's nothing in Islam that prevents moving and doing dhikr together, therefore the dhikr the Sufis are doing are allowed. Could you give a hadith or proof that refutes this type of with, argument? With, without, uh, uh, without going uh, over that, uh, you tell him al-aslu, al-aslu, في العبادة الحذر إلا بدليل. The default. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll explain it to you. Um, the default rule that you are not to initiate a form of worship uh, unless you have an evidence. So uh, he is required to provide an evidence for dancing while making dhikr. Not me providing an evidence to ban him. You see, he's, he's requesting something that he should provide. Uh, the uh, foundation for this particular uh, 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 fiqh maxim, we call it. It's a maxim, but in, in the area of beliefs. قول عائشة قول النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم في حديث عائشة رضي الله عنها في صحيح إمام مسلم. من عمل عملا ليس عليه أمرنا فهو رد. Whoever does an act uh, which we did not do, Muslims did not do at the time of the Prophet وسلم, and the time of his companions, then it's rejected. ف, uh, according to this maxim, which is founded on, the, uh, on this particular authentic hadith for Sahih Imam Muslim, uh, this Sufi brother uh, needs to provide an evidence for dancing while making dhikr to validate his act. Not me providing an evidence to say no, you can't do that. Jazakallah khairan. Tuayyakum. Barakallah khairan.